Hello and welcome to Path of Exile Necropolis League. I've played the Softcore Trade League. We're up to 82. We're just getting into yellow maps, but this is a very viable character. I also noticed that no one else is at level 82 on a Cyclone of Tumult Raider in the entire game. So I'm the highest level one so far. Um, but I like mixing up and I'm, I'm going to give a solo self found a try, uh, try same kind of character and just enjoy it. This is an enjoyable character. It seems really viable and we're going to play it out. So let's create them and solo self found, not ruthless <laughs> tempted though. I'm tempted and we're going to name it cyclone. Raider. Total self found. Okay. And this is going to be a typical. I'll try to maybe highlight things instead of just doing every single thing. I'm going to have to get rid of that every time. And we'll put that there. Movement. And here we go. Nice. Oh, I'm going to have to um, do the trick where I. Uh, get Molten Strike as well. So let's uh, do that as well. I'll put the map on. I'm going to run this guy all the way up to the town. So I'll go to Hillock, fight him counterclockwise. You know, what? Usually they're not right here on us like this. Oh, I'll take the gauntlet. Nice. Um, I don't want to ID him though. And here it is. And then we'll fight Hillock. So Oh, we're going to put the burning arrow in. And then because this is linked, we're going to connect, connect it with this supporting gem that supports that. If you hover over any support gems to make sure it links up, see how they highlight? If it didn't connect and didn't support it, it wouldn't highlight. So that's an interesting way to check. You can also check right here. See how it has that green thing? You take that off, see how it disappears down there? Pretty cool. Okay. Looks good. We are all set. Let's go fight Hillock. And I just go back and forth. If you're a melee. You can fight him just by doing um, counterclockwise, running around him in circles counterclockwise. Any kind of uh, this kind of ranged character is just really easy, though. We'll take the nailed fist. Ooh, nice. So we got this. That's going to be red. Red, I think, is okay. We'll save this one, too, maybe. Maybe we'll use that. I'm not sure if I'm going to go red, green or red, red, but that's nice that we got both those and we're going to need this and that's better than that. Cool. So I'm going to go to town. We'll sell all this stuff off and then I'm going to start my second character, which is just a temporary character to unlock certain gems. And I'll do that right now. And we'll just sell off that. Oh, <laughs> Continue, continue, sell. Nice. And we'll talk to him real quick. And I'll re oh, Hillock Rewards. Um, I don't want any of these, really. Frost Blades isn't bad, but we'll take it for now. But we're going to do Molten Strike anyways. So ignore all this. We'll take one of these and we're going to level them. We're going to come right through here. And we're going to beeline for that thing, that non-Val strike skills target one additional nearby enemy. So that, what are we going to get that at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, level 10. We'll get it. Okay. Apply. All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to create that other character now. So we're going to exit and we're going to create solo cell found create. Uh, this guy right here and this is just to get the gems okay okay same thing I'm gonna run up there do the whole fight but the important stuff is oh let's do this and that and I'm gonna fight hillock again same stuff and we'll go like that, and I'll see you up there. Okay, here's Hillock, and I'll take the map off. Nice, nice stun. I'll heal myself up, and we're just going in counter 
clockwise. You can go clockwise, but it's you'll get hit more often. And we should be able to knock this guy out. Let's see what we get from him. Might be something great. <laughs> we got a tabula rasa or something really cool. That'd be amazing. Well, we don't know what we'll get. And let's heal up. Okay, what'd we get here? Take all this stuff and away we go. Um, this guy we got to get to, I think, the egg quest. So we're just going to take health just to help and some armor, I think that was. Makes uh, the Roa area so much easier. All right, so let's, um, come on, sell that. We don't need that or that or that. Okay. And I'd like a fine work with Hillock. I would like Molten Strike. Cool. And we'll put this here. And that's how that's how we get this, because only certain characters get this at an early level. So now we're going to be able to give that to our other guy by muling it over to him because it's a shared inventory. Stay sharp out there. All right. So I'm going to keep going and I'll be right back. I'm just going to fight these guys here and do the things. And I'm going to buy a couple of things for him as well. Uh, for the other guys. Well, I'm going to I'm going to transfer that ring over to him. And what else can we get? Um, we only have one. I would like another one of these, probably. Um, yeah, I guess. Oh, that's three. Jeez. What is not three? Ugh. Oh, maybe a leather? Nope. I was looking for a leather one. No. We'll just give them the wisdom scroll and maybe that the other character will have a better selection. I don't, I don't know if we have to do the egg one. I think I might be able to skip that because I don't need ancestral, uh, call the, the support one where it hits two extra people so let's go like that and let's do this and we'll just go like this and this and I'm just going to give all this to him so I'll be right back okay so now we're back on our cyclone raider which is going to be molten strike for now and we're going to see what we uh what we can do here um we don't know if it's going to be red or green yet we're going to sell this um, 10 armor, 13 armor. We're going to sell that. I guess we'll put this on for now. And this on. Definitely the ring. These two items alone, this plus, you know, the, the armor, armor, and that. And we should be, be able to take on Roas, no problem. Now we have seven of these, which is really nice. And we're going to swap over here. Take this one off. Put this one up. Get rid of this burning arrow and put that there just like this and now i think we could maybe do a three for one let's see Hello. we should be oh uh, three for one this way one two three and what do we get it at level three we'll be level three pretty soon but then i yeah that's not gonna let's not quite do that yet because then we'll be stuck with that one without well, well we'd only have that one health potion so that would be bad we're gonna sell all of the oh not this one that's gonna be our uh, life gain on hit and we have one um let's let's put the maps down a little bit lower we have one of these and we'll use it on this one let's do it uh, a little extra damage, okay. Not bad. Hello. And sell, 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 sell. Perfect. And let's see what else we can Hello. purchase. Anything? A leather belt? Nope. Bunch of rustics. Um, some boots we could buy over there. What about this one? Not bad. We'll buy that. And. How much are these? Three. That's way too expensive. Well, one. We'll buy one. And then we can do the three for one. One, two, three. Yeah, we can do it that way. Sell. One, two, three. And then we'll have this next level ready to go. 
Um, unidentified armor. I'd like that. Let's see what happens. Plus six. We'll just take it like this. And sell it. Okay. So I'm not sure about this one. If we're going to go red-green. Right now it's a red support gem, but we'll just put it right there. And away we go. So I'm going to work th my way through this fight again and go from there. I'll see you in a bit. Easy stuff. All right, we're looking for any kind of movement speed. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Nice, 10%. And we'll spend our next point. We're going to go right there. And away we go. Easy fight. And ooh, we got an amulet. Probably ID that. And don't need that stuff. Okay. ID the amulet. That'll help with, oh, level four. Uh, it's got some attack too. But that's going to help with mana regen, which is an issue right now. And we'll take a look in here and there. You actually get a decent amount of stuff out of those things. And we're going to swap over to, to a you know, dual wielding the claws. We'll get three life per hit from this one. And when we swing our other one, three life per hit. It just makes, uh, <laughs> it makes life easy. Cool. All right. So now we can level, we just leveled up. We'll put this on. Mana will re regen a little bit faster. And we're going to put dexterity there and away we go. And we're going to go into the Roa area next. This area can give people a lot of hard time, uh, a hard time in general. But if you have a couple of uh, coral rings and then some armor, we got armor there, 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 there. Let's see what our armor defense is at. 50%. It's going to be hard for us to get stunned. And we have a stun protection with this uh, shield too while it's up. And uh, ooh, extra fire damage. Interesting. We should probably move that to like those guys. <laughs> That'll make it a little easier, I guess. And away we go. Let's see how this uh, pans out. I'd like an Ancestral Protector Totem. Those are really, really OP. Makes the uh, Brutus fight really easy. But like these guys, see, they're not going to stun me. They're going to be really difficult for them to stun me. I can just walk up to them. Get in their face. See that guy? He did not stun me. Now the problem is, or, or an issue what people have is, they'll have barely any gear, better, barely any... Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, armor. And they're just getting hit big time for these physical hits. And they can't, you know, they can't mitigate them and they get stun locked. And then it's just, you know, bad news. But we're not going to do that. <laughs> and we got another transmute. We might as well use it right on this. Okay, does a little more damage. Interesting. And away we go. Oh, we'll take that and turn it in. And we'll spend the next point right there. And we're beelining for that non-Val strikes target on an additional target nearby. And then once we get Cyclone, we'll back out of that. We might end up doing this Rustic Sash recipe. Um, so I'm going to hold on to one of these. Um, it's You turn it into a rare... And you sell it with a whetstone and then, you know, a regular weapon, and it'll turn it into a fizz weapon, uh, which I need. So, cool. Let's do that. Let's drop these and these and these. We're going to swap them over for this kind of stuff. Um, I probably should identify that. Let's do it. And ooh, per life per kill. Nice. Ooh, we just got some rare shoes. Let's see what we get out of them. No movement speed, no good, no good. <laughs> In town and another Ooh, strength. We needed that. And let's see what we can do here. Okay. Uh, sniper's mark, bear trap, puncture, repost. Probably repost just, I don't, uh, we're not, uh, we're dual wielding. Um, whenever I, block so we got a 15 percent chance there and then this is dash very nice we'll put that up here a necromancer. and dash we're gonna put right there take this off of here take that off of there cool oh and we get a book too but we don't have room to pick it up so we just push escape and then we can sell some items 
Uh, we're going to sell that and that and that and that. Not that one. Uh, that one, yes. Nice. Augment. Ooh, we can use that augment. So, for an item, an item like this to augment it, or maybe like this. Let's augment this, because we're going to hold on to that for a while, I'm guessing. 12%. Oh, nice. So it's definitely a that's 42% increased mana regen just from that item. Stay sharp out there. Um, Welcome. Ooh, not this necromancer aboard book of regrets, which is just the um, uh, um, this stuff. When we're spending points, we can refund some, and that's how you can get uh, undo problems that, <laughs> that you run into. Nice, we'll level that up. Take this one, perfect. And anything they want. Pierce support, chance to poison. Um, probably none of these. Red, 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 blue. We need a red, 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 green. Um, uh, we'll take this one for now and just stick it right there. I don't think dash will damage them. I don't think so, but yeah, okay. And, oh, Vestal. And we're going to go like this. We're going to put that on shift space for now, I guess. Uh, let's put it on space. Easier to use. Cool. And we're going to put this away. That's going to be for the recipe. I need an alchemy for that and a whetstone. This is uh, just in case. Put this away this way. Sniper's mark. I think we can just sell that. Um, there's a possibility that I use this. Um, I'm just not sure yet. And then, so we'll put it right here. And then these things, small mana, small life. Okay. Oh boy. Getting close. And then sniper's mark. We just sell. In fact, we're going to sell that whole stack for wisdoms and that for a scrap fragment nice and can we purchase anything worthwhile yet no leather belts i mean it's interesting but nope and nah none of this stuff okay While we live, we... Ooh, we found our first essence thing that's nice and i know that crab down there is encased in essence now during the campaign. I wonder if you can run that multiple times and get... I don't think so. I'm, I'm sure that... What? Yeah, I don't think he... That would be kind of cheesy if you could just get the crab multiple times and then basically get a bunch of rares that way, but maybe you could do it. We'll find out. I'd have to reset the area? Hmm. We'll give it a shot and see what it... <laughs> and see if it works. Nice. And I'm basically saving this just for that um that belt. Ooh, some blood. And an iron ring. We'll probably switch over to an iron ring. So we'll do one of both one of one of both of those. Yeesh. I need to upgrade that too. Okay. So we'll swap over to an iron ring here. Most likely. Ooh, that's nice. Cool. And this is we're gonna save to for the recipe. We're gonna upgrade that um belt and then we're gonna turn it in and get a better weapon that way. Pretty cool. And getting there. One, two, three, four levels away. Let's take a look at this. If we just did a like a very basic um craft here with that one item let's see what what it turns out to be so if we go in here we visit the necropolis we go and we bury that thing what do we get out of that if we craft it oh we could we choose too that's interesting um let's do a weapon i don't know a claw weapon god that the writing is so terrible it's hard to see it uh, claw. There we go. So that you can rip out the of 
let's find out. Well, that's actually awesome. <laughs> I didn't expect that in regular in the regular league. It's um, <laughs> this is a terrible. Uh, uh, did that just did I just get lucky or something? I don't know. Um, what um, I got a hundred percent accuracy, but that's okay. And twelve to four. One to three physical damage. Let's see which one is better. Twelve intelligence. I'll take the intelligence on that one. Pretty cool. Not a bad uh, little deal either. We'll swap this around like that. So I'm hitting first hand like, like that. Okay. Not bad. Oh, we got one of these. But I think I need a couple of these to actually make some purchases too. So that wasn't too bad. Well, when we bury our first uh, craft and it worked. Well, let's do it again. Agonizingly slow. Come on. And visit it. And bury that. And craft. What do I want? Um, a ring? Um, chest armor? Armor? Body armor. Exercise. So that you may house their valiant soul. Is it gonna is it always rare? I just don't know. Uh ninety-seven. That's pretty impressive. I need red red. There we go. Oh, and then I need uh, a little more strength as well. If we get a strength ring, we could do something like that, but oh well. Not bad. Uh, the league mechanic is perfectly amazing for uh, solo cell found. All right, the next point we're going to be short on strength by a little bit for that, but oh well. Um, we're going right here, and I think then right there. Not that way, yeah. There, then the here. Okay. Cool. All right, so here he is. I'm just wondering if it's every time and does it drop an essence. Oh, he's a tough guy. I would love an Astro's Ancestral Totem, a, a Protector Totem. They're so nice. Oh, we got some bleeds on us, but it'll go off. There it is. And we're just base tanking this guy. Not a problem. Oh, and it dropped a Whispering Essence of Greed. Okay. So we're going to take that and that. That, that, and that, and we'll take this too. Why not? Sure. Not, not that though. Okay. So if I were to exit out of here and then come back, we'll check it out. It's a ring with strength and life. I'd like to get that. It's an alteration. Uh, let's see how close we are. Uh, we're only at 12. We need eight more for one of those. Um, yeah, not going to happen yet. So, uh, Let's put this. Wow, this is just all messed up. Let's put that over there. These are the only ones we technically need right now. And, oh, we got two of these now. We'll turn into one of those. And physical damage, leech's life. We'll just put that there. Put this away. Put this. I, I don't really think I'll need it, but I don't know why that's in there. We'll take this one and this one. We'll save this one. Okay, and we should be able to just sell these. Yes. Except, and that's going to be the problem-ish right here. 25 strength. Okay, we'll get there. And a skill book, point spent. Ooh, so that means we'll, we'll actually get there before 10. Forgot about the skill books. 8, next level, 1, 2. Interesting. All right, so I'm going to try this, or I'm going to say new. And we're in. Looks like the same mods as before, though, which is okay. And I'm going to go find out if it resets it. I'll take it. And let's see what it is here. We're going to go in and craft it up. Let's see if we can get a belt, I guess. I don't know, maybe. 
An attack belt? Attack ring? I don't know. Maybe... I don't know. Let's... Jewelry? No, let's go with jewelry. Jewelry ring craft. So that you may guide their hand to success. Yeah, this seems a little over overpowered for this. <laughs> um mana. Mana over life, I guess. Though. So. Uh so a little bit of damage. Regen. Interesting. We'll, we'll test it out and see how well I do at 160. I think it reset. There it is. There's the guy. Yeah, it reset. Let's see if it drops it again. This will be interesting. And because I have life gain on hit, I pretty much just face tank the guy. I don't really do anything. Half dead. Yeah, you could farm this for a bunch of basically rare stuff. And it even has drops, too, so... Oh, it didn't drop the uh, essence this time, though. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, that, 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 and that. And I'm going to go back to town. And we're going to spend this point right there. 1%. While leeching, do that. Plus, we have attack speed. This is just a nice node right there. We could get the strength this way with this belt right here. So let's do that and that and be well oh boy <laughs> now we can wear this there and we'll sell both those I guess yeah hello okay the socket pressure is mounting Ooh, we got a nameless seer uh We'll put it on this guy, I guess. And so that means I'm going to clear everything in here just to make sure. Upgrade this. Uh, nice. And augment it as well. And what do we get? 13 life. Nice. And, well, let's do it. This, let's have some fun with this one, too. Uh, not that great. And we'll augment it. Why not? Might as well have fun. And, ugh. It's bad on both counts. <laughs> I think. Yeah, it's not good. Okay, moment of truth. We're going to go like this. And we're going to spend this point right there. Nice. Now it should, our strike skill, because this is a strike skill. There's a strike tab, uh, tag at the top. Now it should hit an additional target nearby. That's going to make things a lot easier. And because we're hitting more targets, we're getting healed more often. It's just an auto aim type thing. And it's a little better than the um, Ancestral Call support gem because it doesn't reduce the damage of it. Uh, okay, I'll take that. A little bit better than the one I have. And I'll use that in the next map, I guess. And we'll save that for there. Portal scroll. And I'll sell these for the transmutes. We're getting close to that guy, the Nameless Seer. I hope it gives us... Well, I think they were giving us like uniques from him, so... We could get a, a leveling unique. That would be amazing. We'll see. Uh, I'm not seeing him. I'll look around for him. You have to be really close to him for his name to pop up. And it's the last pack to spawn. It would be that one over there. We'll find him. There's 15 left. Somehow I missed 15 on a, on a run like this. We'll find him. Important. It's that important to find this one. Oh, maybe down in here. Come on, Nameless Seer. Yes. Over here. Rustic Sash, small. Oh, there he is. Okay. Okay. Here's the moment of truth. And you just get one free item. 
All right, so we have energy shield 227. Uh, reflects 5. Physical damage taken from attacks. Pain attunement. What does pain attunement do? You are on low life if you have 50%. 30% more spell damage when low on life. Eh. Ooh, is this the lock? These are really good. They have movement speed, right? I think. To gain a power from your... Oh, no movement speed. Those are good leveling gloves. Those are just flat out good leveling gloves. I thought it had movement speed. But nope. Conduit. Oh, uh, that's not it. And then what about these? Uh, gloves, blah, 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 blah. No, I think these are the ones we're going to go with. Attack speed, reduced maximum mana, that's okay. Gain a power, frenzy, endurance charge. I think that's the way to go. Maybe this might be. 219 energy shield. And reflect 5, physical damage, pain attunement. Uh, it's not really, no. This wouldn't help with damage. So this is the way to go, right here, for us. Yep. And what the eleven? Oh, there's the route, the rolls I got. Okay. Remember this kindness. Nice. And 71, 72. That's pretty low for. A, but then we get the the chance at those uh other things. Um, I'm gonna go to town and refresh this. Probably sell some stuff, and I'll be right back. I'm going to switch the support gem here to chance to bleed. I don't like ruthless. Two up and down. And then um, blood and sand. And war banner. Uh, right there. Nice. I don't have the ancestral call support, but... Oh, that's the call support gem. We don't want that one. You could, but I don't want it. I, I like the other way. Uh, we don't have the totem yet. Hmm. I'm going to find out when we get the totem first. Yeah, I really want to get the um, ancestral protector one. So uh, increased damage. There we go. We're going we're gonna to do the breaking some eggs quest for Nessa. Um we're just going to collect these. It's easy to do. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. I don't have anything yet. <laughs> Exit. <laughs> One second. I'll be right back. And there we go. <laughs> that was not easy to do. I didn't have any weapons. I had to kind of rush in there and take it. <laughs> nice. And now we have Ancestral Protector on our Ranger guy. Raider. Cool. And let's see what we can do with it. One little trick. If you ever see the three uh, stones like this, that that's the way forward. So, you know, it could be either way. This is the way forward. And let's uh, do our buff. And we'll do this buff. And we'll even use the uh, war banner up there to get a little stronger. There we go. And I can just drop down a totem now. And I don't think we have... Yeah, the nameless seer is, isn't here again. <laughs> That'd be nice if he was, but no. So I can just drop the totem down. It does its thing. And we'll get it stronger and everything will be cool. All right, let's see what we got this time. Ooh, that's a pretty nice item, actually. Uh, 720. Repost. And let's see what we get out of it. 83, 91, I'll take it, and green, only green one right there, that does 1 to 4, that does all that other stuff, nice, Ooh, we got, we got lucky here, I needed strength on that, and then we got strength and we got some damage and other stuff, nice, Ooh, and we got a legion during the, um, so we're going to break this guy down. And you just want to find the things that, um, you know, that are, have, like, stuff like this. Little icons over them. Want to go to those. 
and they're usually on the outskirts. Come on, anything over here? Oh, right here is an armor one. Anything else? Probably not enough time to get to it. And now it's broken out, and then we'll fight them. Easy, buddies. Oh, some big guys there. We got the chest. Easy. We have space to pick that up. Nice. Let's go figure out these. I think there was two of them. Oh, oh, this is a creature, actually. Like a general or something. Yeah, easy there. Let's take these ads in the back. Holy cow. All right, that was a lot of stuff. Oh, boy. Iron ring, steel greaves, longsword two-hander. Very tempting to start, get it, start getting into. Um... What can I drop? That, definitely. Longsword right there. Chainmail tonic. Red, red. Um, let's put that there. Good enough for now. Let's keep going. And there's one more thing over here to get. Yeah, that might put us over the top here. Oh, there's a chromatic. I actually need it. Holy cow, there's a bunch of stuff. So, if this is the case, we're going to have to use one of these. And you can bind your keys, options, input, right down at the bottom, T. So, I've just got T on there, and it's on the side mouse button, and there we go. So, space-wise, we'll pick that up, and we'll go back. Alright, I'll be back in a second. A little bit of a you know, socket pressure here. I've got red, red, and these are technically better, but I'm going to have to save them for later. What about something like this? Ooh, red, red. That would actually work with that. And intelligence, I'd like that. And the life. Yeah, these, I like this better. It has a little bit less armor, but oh well. And it's got intelligence on it. So let's swap that to there this to here that to there and these are better than those nice and we get some of our armor back uh nope and then if i press one second i'm going to try to solve the mana issue by going right over here and get some mana leech. We'll see if that works. It works on my other character. We'll see if it works here. And I've settled on that weapon. This one will sell. Yes. And I ID'd that ring. And it's a pretty good ring. Um, it's going to replace this one. That'll give us the plus two hit. So we go from three per hit to two per hit. It might work, though. And then we're going to... We, our damage went up by, like, 30%. So we'll give it a shot and see what happens. Otherwise, we might swap back, but I doubt it. So here we go. I think this is going to be fine. There we go. Take the boots and the hatchet. And we'll probably need one more of those. And I'm opening all these up. I need more wisdom scrolls, a lot more. <laughs> oh well. And away we go. For now, I'll probably grab this melee splash. Um, we'll be swapping out of it, but that's not until like level 51. So I'll just level that up right now until I get a triple red. And we have to do the trials. These are easy to do, though. Let's see if we can run ahead of it. Come on, we can make it. Nice. Doesn't matter. I mean, we even if we get hit by the thing, it doesn't really matter. Just heal right back out of it. Just do that, and jump over there. Love leap slam. We'll get to it. 
And ooh, here's a, a rare right here. Come on, something cool. It's something. Not necessarily cool though. Relief is the and we'll just knock these out too. The nice. Okay, we just found red, red, and green. I would love to do uh Splash. Let's change Splash there. And it's that with Splash with faster attacks. And we just got this. Uh, armor maximum perfect. And what did we get? And we're going to compare it. I like this armor. Oh, gosh. The 25 sucks, but um, eh, it's not good armor, but the, the linkage is better. So we're just going to take it and commit to it. Let's see if we can actually set that up better. And away we go. Ooh, the Warden's Quarter. Here we go. Let's do this fight. This should be fairly easy. Um, it shouldn't be too bad at all. We'll Quite see. Sure of yourself, aren't you, Huntress? The Warden enjoys the taste of overconfidence. Okay. And we just follow the blood trail. There's some blood splatters there. And... Come on, buddy. A bit of the chest, a barrel. Ooh, I'll take the scrap. We turn that in for a uh, whetstone. Large mana, perfect. We can triple that one up when we are able to. And here he comes. Take the map off just for clarity. And I can even drop our uh, ban war banner down for some extra damage. I usually just keep it up, but we'll put it down. We'll drop that, and let's see. Oh, 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 what's going on here? Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? I don't have my attack. Like, come on. There we go. Well, he's going to be bleeding then. Shouldn't be a bad fight now. I was like, wait a second, I can't attack. I didn't have any attack left. Easy. Drop a totem. And done. Anything good? We get so much totem pressure, no matter, or socket pressure, there's no way we can do anything with this. So let's swap this over. And go like that. And melee splash. And hopefully we'll get faster attacks really quick here. And cool. Let's see what we get. Um, precision. Precision we actually need as well, but not right away. We'll take it, and then we at least we have it. I also have to get a off offhand, uh, begin leveling some offhand stuff. And purchase, maybe it'll be here. What was it? Um, faster attacks. Is that it right there? Yep. And perfect. Nice. Sell items. Looks good, looks good. Nice. Everything's in good shape. Oh, well. Maybe some, some three for ones. Let's see. Uh, green. Nope. We'll keep that right there. What does this one go? Wait, we might as well throw that on. Can't use it later, so let's use it up as soon as possible. And flasks, three for one. We could do this one. And then that means we could do that one. So let's do that. Hello. One, two, three. Accept. I don't know if it's smart enough to do three in a row like that. Accept. And do we have any other ones? No. We need one. That's a 250. Oh, let's just use that right here. And that's a six percenter, so we don't want to do that. We're in good shape there. Very cool. That faster attack is so nice. I mean, it, it's just, it feel it, it literally feels stronger, you know, which is a nice thing. Sometimes you put stuff down and you're like, that doesn't even feel stronger, but this is noticeably stronger. Also, I'll be using a lot more mana, but that's okay. Yeah, that feels powerful. Ah, first strong box, let's so can open it and step away from it just in case it explodes. 
And what do we get out of that? Mm, some stuff. Oh, it's identified. Nice. Take this and this and that. And what do we get? A uh, shield and some boots. Movement speed. Nope. But sellable. And let's spend the other point. We spent one here. Now we're finally going to get some uh, leech back on mana and life too. I think this is going to allow us with this and all of this, I think it's going to allow us, I think this is like a double up or is this the recovery? Total recovery per second is doubled. Maximum total life recovery per second is doubled, but yet no life regen. That's a little dangerous to use. I don't like that too much. But maybe we'll think about it. But um, let's check it out. And we'll, we'll go in here and we're going to actually use this. Um, greatly increased. We'll put it on the, you know, right there on the big guy there. And that's extra EXP. I'll take it. Oh, there they are right away. <laughs> Interesting. Um, what was that? Oh, the mana, the mana leech thing. Is that actually doing anything? Not too much yet. We'll get there. We'll see how how impressive it is or lack thereof. I think it needs probably another two uh, two or three man, uh, points into it to be to feel it. Plus we're at, you know low levels here, not doing a ton of damage. So I'll check back. And one of the new things is this brings us right to Bear Graves, which is kind of nice. Not have to run all the way back over to him. It's a small thing, but think millions of players are going to be going through this and it saves, I don't know, a minute. It's a million minutes just to walking back over there. Pretty nice, actually. Developers should be looking for that kind of stuff all throughout their game. Oh, nice. Another level. I'm chunking down my... I don't have very much mana is the issue. I only have 90 mana. But it's okay. It's a working. And... Nice. We'll keep on trucking. And the next point we're going to spend right there. Of attack damage. 40% increased total recovery per second. Okay. And then this is what? 60 so it's a basically double and then the 10 percent is of all leeches instant more hits uh blah 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 increased total recovery from leech 25 percent increased maximum total life mana and energy shield recovery per second from leech i don't know <laughs> i don't know which one's best i'm gonna do the 10 percent instant and apply let's see if this feels any better here we go. Doesn't really... I mean, there's... I'm watching it roll back up. I think the instant will be uh, important. We'll see. Okay, and what one do we want? Uh, ballista, no. No, no. No, and no. Um, But I'm going to bring along some for the... Uh, whatchamacallit? The... Uh, lab so we can actually roll and actually maybe get a tall malt that way i'm not gonna i'm not too sure oh nice and we'll spend that right here now it's 0 0.48 1.6 1 and almost doubled so it's starting to feel a little more chunky we'll see mm -hmm. and we're just gonna oh want more alteration shards and no movement speed same thing here yeah that's a lot better getting some alts right there uh strength i'll identify that uh i'm gonna hold on to it just in case it's nice to have that just in case you need it and we'll bail on this one i guess uh not yet We'll move this over here. And that right there. 
And we'll pull this back out, put all these away, and we're ready for a, um, one of the, um, I'll have to upgrade that. Actually, we can just do it this way. We'll just take it, um, upgrade this. Maybe it'll be better than our one we have on. Let's see. No, I need that strength. And then, yeah, I need the strength on that one. Cool. So this plus one of these and a like a two a nice two handed base from the next town will sell it and it'll get a sixty percent um, increased physical damage to the weapon. It becomes a fizz weapon, and we'll put that right there for the lab. Precision we're not working with yet, but we will. Cool. This is feeling a lot better just from that one point, whatever that 1.6 now on the mana issue. Wow. Let's see. Leech, uh, the 10%. Look at that. It's all, it's coming back a lot faster now. It's a chunker. Yeah, so it's just a little bit of it. So it needs to be upped in total. We'll see. For this little treasure fight. And... Other boots. Let's ID these. Ooh, triple red. Please have some movement speed. Oh no, I actually need red, red, green. No movement speed. Ooh. All right, let's spend this last point before the Merveil fight. On instant. Interesting. I don't know if the leech is going to work. I don't think we get like... Uh, it feels like we are actually getting some chunky leeches uh, of health as well. Let's see. I don't see the 10%. just want to hit a big crowd of them. And, and it is more noticeable when you get a bigger crowd like, see, like, like that. Let's see if we can get a big crowd. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's chunkier. And away we go. Alright, here's the Merveil fight. Should be it should go really smoothly. We'll see. Drop that down. Easy. Gotta pay attention to my health though. Oh god, I don't have any um <laughs> cold cold resistance at all. Yeah, so I'm taking full on chunky hits. I think I had cold resist last time I was here, but well, now I'm not going to have that. Come on. Next stage. Whoa, easy. Nice and smooth. I mean, it's it's soft core, so I mean, it's soft core solo cell found in a minute. If I die, it's I just go right back out to the second, but I don't want to die. Easy. I mean, technically, you should just try to, like, glass cannon the whole campaign in part because, because of that. Because it would technically be the fastest way to do it. But I like being chunky and being able, being able to face tank stuff. It's just more fun for me. And... Nice. Okay. Your love for a man. That's what did this to you, Mervail. And triple red, but no. Um, we'll identify it just in case it's just crazy grit. Um, and this one, mana. So if I take this off, will I will I lose my? Yep, can't do it. I need that ten strength. Uh, we'll get some more strength soon though. Um, and if that's the case, I'll want to use this one instead. So yeah, we'll, we'll just store that one right there. Um, DPS 44 versus DPS 35. So this is a better weapon, but what is my, what repost? I'd have to give up. Faster attacks, dash, which is okay. 
Ooh, 47 strength too. Okay. Interesting. And away we go. We're gonna just work our... Oh, we got an Einhardt here. Alright, I guess we'll fight the uh, Einhardt fights here. On the way to the next, next town. And... How many is it? How many beasts are there? Four, maybe? Probably four. I'll find them all. And you guys can come along or skip ahead. Let's find out where they are. I don't see them on the mini-map yet. There's a yellow one that just popped up. That'll be interesting, too. We can do a Einhardt fight. That's the thing with um, uh, Solo Southbound. Every single thing matters. Like right here. This That's cool. That might be a really good item for us. You know, for now. We'll just identify it. Reduced amount recovered. Instant recovery. So that'll be our instant recovery one. We need a panic one. <laughs> we really don't, but... Oh, oh geez. Well, we might. <laughs> Actually, we might need one in a... Uh... Right there. <laughs> I just used it. And... That's a chunky red beast. Those red beasts are really, uh... Serious. Okay, we got another point to spend. And now we're gonna go for... We're going to work. There's a couple of choices. We can go over here and start getting this stuff. But I also want that. That's nice as well. Um, oddly enough, that strength and intelligence is nice to get. I just don't know. This is really nice. Attack speed, dexterity. Mm, but I do want this. I want everything. Um, what, is there a dex... No, there's no strength, though. There's strength way over here. And then there's strength and intelligence. I think I want that. So, we're going to grab that. We can back out of that later. Um, Max mana. Okay. We'll get it that way. There's a... It's a little bit of a toss-up there. Well, we might as well go in and make another item. What, what are we going to work on, though, here? Uh, maybe some boots. Just flat out try to try to go for a fifteen percent boots. Might as well. Do we have anything else we could do? Uh, no. Yeah, I think we're just gonna try for boots. And the weapon will you go the other the other way? Maybe. Let's see. Um. Yeah, this is just gonna be that one. And. That one. Craft, armor, boots, exercise. Is there a way to speed this up? What did we get? Nope. And let's go finish these these guys off. We got what is it? Two more yellow beasts. Oh jeez. And now I got my buffs back up. We did all five of the beasts. And I think I'll do that in the next... I'll start the next episode off with um, the menagerie. Oh, boy. No space? Really? Nope, 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 nope. Uh, we could drop that and put that there. And take this along. Okay. Faster attacks, nice. And Forest Encampment. Act two, the beginning of it. Cool. So we'll we'll go into the menagerie next. Uh, at the beginning of the next episode and see what we get out of there. I'm gonna go craft another item because we just picked up that thing. How do we get we've got this necropolis locker, but how do we get is he the necropolis guy around here somewhere? I don't really see him. Maybe, I think we can go this way and visit it. Yep, right there. All right. So the next episode, we'll do the um, menagerie. We'll um, maybe buy a weapon. Let's see. Goodbye. 
Oh, we need red, red, green. That one right there. And level 18. Ooh, very nice. So let's do this. Let's do it right now. Let's sell this stuff. Okay. Step one. Purchase that. We can't use it until next level, but we can at least go like this. Red, red, green. So we can move that over. That, that doesn't matter. So repost, war banner, blood and sand. Okay. Maybe we'll um, shoot for more. I think we, we definitely need to shoot for more um, speed or, you know, rolling in the graveyard with these and hope for movement speed because one socket here is not good. It's holding me back a bit. So step one and then step two is come in to the stash and we'll take this. We'll put all this stuff away. We'll even put that away. Oops. And we'll take that. And if we sell these things together, let's see if it works. Sell that, that, and that. And we get, it should say 60% fit or 58% fizz. Except. And then we can augment it. Return if you must. And we'll see if it turns out better. Oh, strength. Not bad. All right, so we'll uh, compare it to this one. I'm guessing this is going to be better than this. Um, what what does this say? F1, 83 versus 44. This is a really, really good weapon. So we'll start the next episode off with that as well. We're in good shape. Um, I, I'm going to put so much so that I trust that that's the case. We'll put it right there. Um, that's going to give me some strength too. Nice. And we'll be able to replace, you know, we'll be able to replace this and then put this in here and very nice. Very cool. All right. So progress is going well so far and I'll see you in the next episode. Pretty cool. And if you have any questions, just let me know down below.